So hello YouTube and welcome to how to remove Babylon from Google Chrome. Now this is the third and final video of this, this series, how to remove Babylon. So in the first video we went over how to remove it from Mozilla Firefox. On the second we went over how to remove it from Internet Explorer. And now the last video we're going to remove it from Google Chrome. Now this should be pretty straightforward but I need to grab your attention here for a bit because uh, although it looks very simple removing from Chrome, before I actually created these videos, I, I, ran, I did a test run for about a month with all these three options I found to, to remove and you know it was pretty straightforward and I you know the last one which is the, which is the one we're doing now, the Google Chrome is this is basically the way we're going to do it but then it's something that we need to be in mind because I did do that on my first attempt and what happened is this actually reversed all the process and I had to do everything again from the beginning which we just did through these all three videos together okay so let's start by removing Babylon out here from Chrome so you go to to the tool click on the spanner there and the first thing we're going to go on is we're going to go to tools and we're going to go to extensions okay so which is you know if it was installed as an extension this is where your uh, extension should be showing but because it was installed as malware you know it basically comes comes in through firefox makes into your system and then spreads over the three the three or four depends how many uh, browsers you go in your in your computer and it basically just spreads through all the browsers from your machine so it doesn't show any extensions because this is what happened in, in this in this case here so I installed it I got it through Firefox and then from Firefox it spread over the three extensions so the first thing is it doesn't show here so because it doesn't show here we cannot remove it as an extension so what we need to go uh, we also need to look here under the bonnet, uh, but we're gonna leave because it's it's not so important here. So we're gonna leave this for, for later. Okay, well, what we're gonna go is on basics. So here on basics, you can see that is set here as my uh, home page. So what we're gonna do is delete that, and there you can type in Google dot com or dot co dot uk. In my case, I'm in UK, so I'm going to type .co.uk to be my home page. Okay. And the next one is here on a, on a search. You see that it's set my search engine is set to Babylon as well. So I'm going to have to set that to Google. Okay. And I go to manage search engines. And there it is. So we're going to, we want to delete that. Okay. So basically click on a, on a cross there and delete it from there. And pretty much it's Chrome because we don't want to save anything so that's it it's pretty much done so if i go back here to the home page close that one there now as you can see it looks pretty much has been removed let's try and type here games let's see if he shows up again which is basically what happened in my first test run it didn't show up so i get a type up there as well And as you can see, it doesn't show up. But the fact is, there is a good chance that the malware still installed on your program files. So if you go here to your computer, local disk C, program files, and we're going to look here for the Google folder. And the chance is we don't got to find it. As you can see, there is the Internet Explorer. Okay. Mozilla Firefox, but yeah, our well, Google folder has now been omitted. So that's the way that the, the spyware and the virus uses to stop us completely remove remove it from from our system. So because I left the Google folder the Google folder for the last, so that's the one he, he omitted now from 
my system. So now for us to find this folder and be able to delete this folder and then run the restrict cleaner like we did for Firefox and then we can then install Google Chrome back again as a clean install. So the problem is completely fixed. That's when you now need to go back to your control panel, user account, manage another account and you need to create a new account as an administrator. It's just never as an administrator. So basically that is just an administrator, full administrator account, full administrator rights. So in, in this new account, we can find the Google folder and delete it. Okay. After we delete the Google folder, we come back to our original account and then we are going to run the Ristic Cleaner to scan and remove any files that become often of the Google application because this way also remove the virus. Okay, any infected files and spyware that Babylon has deposited inside of your Google files, they all be completely exterminated and then you just install Google again and everything goes back to the normal. So just to try and show you, I just basically I have to stop this video and log in into my administrator account so you can see that the, the new account you can then see the new Google uh, folder. Uh, the Google folder that we need to find and, and delete it so we can then go ahead and run the scan in the registry cleaner. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, I'm now back here on my uh, administrator account and so you can see there is my administrator account. So I'm actually let me go to control panel and you can see exactly where I'm logged in now and I'm now logged in as an administrator and the other account which I showed you which I just showed you when I showed the accounts is this one this is the uh, default account that I use the most and the reason that we log in into the administrator account is so we can delete the Google folder so I go to computer local disk program files and now we're going to need to find here the, again you can see Internet Explorer there again there's Mozilla which is the Google one and there is the Google one okay so right click and delete it. Just, just delete it. Okay, and that's it. It's now it's been deleted. Now, once I go back to my uh, default account, my usual account, Google Chrome will has disappeared as well. So let's go back there now. Okay, and as you see, my Google Chrome has gone. Just for removing the the folder. Through the administration set, through the administration account. Now it's very possible that once you do this, that uh, before you go into your administration account, that you find the Google folder on your default account, on your usual account. But once you try to delete it, the system will tell you you cannot delete it. You have no permissions. So again, this is why we need that extra account as an administration because from there you can delete the folder and delete Google. And even before now we're doing the scan, another thing I'm going to do here just for grants, uh, go to program features and make sure I don't have any the Google Chrome still as installed here. And it looks like it's fine, it's not here. But if he is, if you find it, just right click and install it and remove all data. So make sure you delete everything about Google. So the, the your registry, registry cleaner <coughs> can then run the scan and remove all the orphan files. Again, I gonna run it again, and it is the, and it is just gonna run it again. Again, go to settings. You can actually do this from the beginning. That's fine. Uh, those are has to be all ticked. Those first four has to be all ticked and cache and history cookies has to be all ticked as well and start scanning. 
So again, this is, you know, because I'm recording, I shouldn't be doing this when I'm recording, but so I can show you, I'm just going to click OK. But you should, you know, should only use your registry cleaner alone, okay? Everything else on your computer has to be closed. Internet, uh, games, music, whatever, close everything and then just let the cleaner the, do the work, okay? So this this will take it will take a while because it basically it goes through the system and finds all the orphan files left by Google, and inside of these files of Google is also the Babylon files, which eventually he yeah, actually deletes them all, removes everything from your computer, cleans it up, and that of course prevents when we restart our machines that Babylon is coming back. Uh, now what we did through these videos is all about uh, the Babylon toolbar. There is also my search toolbar, which is the same problem. You, the process is exactly the same, but instead you'll be looking for Babylon, you'll be looking for uh, my search bar application. So basically, you just keep on that topic. Um, any other, any other, uh, you know, search related malware and virus is pretty much the same way how you remove them. Another thing that you can do is download Microsoft Essentials which is free up to 10 computers for Vista and Windows 7 users. So you can download this software from Microsoft itself, absolutely free, and they help protect your computer against stuff like this. So it keeps your machine nice and clean and it's free, so it works time. So just wait here for this one to finish because the next thing we're going to do is just basically install, install a new clean copy of Google Chrome as soon as this can is finished. Um, this is a very slow process. The, the cleaning process is slow. We have to remember this goes through. There you go. Fix problems. And then we have to get okay. Okay. So it's good, you know, I'm running once. So just the same time on a video, but it's usually it's good to, you know, to run this, this process about two or three times. So I would scan it another two times. But just the same time on a video, I'm not going to. But I recommend you to scan two or three times until you get OK all this, those three times. OK, so now the next step is, which should be fixed, we go to the Internet Explorer, which you get the Google Chrome. You see that? You can just install Google Chrome from here. So install Google Chrome, download it. So this is pretty much, uh, anyone should, should know how to do this. And this is it. This is how we fix. Uh, Google Chrome. So I don't gotta film this because this is everyone should know how to do this. Okay. Oh it's still installing, so let me pause again and then resume it. Okay, and there it goes. Now I have a, a clean copy of Google Chrome all nice and clean. Okay, there you go. So this is how you remove the tedious Babylon from your computer, guys. Okay, the software, the link to this software is below the video. Again, that's my affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any, any more buying from my affiliate, affiliate link. What does is give us a small commission, which is, you know, it's nice and good. So there it goes, guys. If this video solves your problem, uh, you like the videos, Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and share. I'm José Nunes. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.